Hello, and thanks for watching. I'm making this video to demonstrate a tool I've been working on to generate random map layouts for Valve's Hammer Editor that can be used in Half-Life 2, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, Left 4 Dead 2, or any Source Engine game. Personally, I intend to use this tool for Half-Life 2 Episode 2 mapping with the Source SDK 2013. To start generating your own random maps, the first thing you're going to want to do is visit the GitHub page uh, linked in the description and download the latest release of Nails, which is going to be my suite of tools for editing maps. For starters, all you need to do to generate a map is just run nailscmd.exe. Copy both the output file and the Nails directory into your map source directory. You need to make sure that the nails folder is in the same place as your map because it uses instances. Now I'm going to open Hammer and look at the map that we've created. If you haven't used Hammer instances before, you may be confused by all of the small cubes in your map and by the discoloration of the walls. Um, it's because this map is made out of instances that are inserted into the map. You can remove tint from the instances by choosing the Instance drop-down menu in Hammer and clicking Show Instances as Normal. Half-Life 2 Episode 2 does not support instances in Hammer, so you need to either use a third-party instance inserter when you compile your map in Hammer, or, as I'm doing, use Hammer's built-in Collapse Instances feature. It's important to note that once you collapse instances into a map, you can no longer update those instances. Now I'm just going to drop an info player start into the map and it should be ready to compile. One of the most useful aspects of this tool is sort of creatively interpreting design out of the random patterns. For instance, I can see how the verticality in this random map could be used for enemy encounters. Currently, the random map generator tool doesn't have any sort of uh, ramps for steep vertical inclines. That's one feature that I would like to add. Another feature that was requested was hammer integration, so that you would use an entity in hammer to configure how the random map generator should generate, and then you would run it just like you would run the map compiler in hammer. I don't know whether or not that tool would be practical or widely used. It's something that I am considering implementing. Going forward, what I need most to continue development of this tool is feedback. What features would make this tool more useful? What direction would you like me to take it? So thank you again for watching this video. If you like the video, please leave me a comment below and let me know what you think.